Imagine this, you wake up tomorrow morning and you're going to work. You open up your inbox and you've received an email from your manager with an Excel spreadsheet attached. And your manager asks you to please copy paste the data in that spreadsheet into a web application. Now you open up that spreadsheet and you notice that there's hundreds of line items. To copy paste all that data is extremely time consuming, very boring, very repetitive, and the chance of you making a mistake is quite high. Now, thanks to UiPath, doing this manually is a thing of the past. They have developed a free tool called Clipboard AI to semi-automate this copy-pasting process. All right, there's also a way to fully automate this process, which you can use UiPath Studio for, and I'll show you that briefly at the end of this video. So let's jump into it. What I had to do the other day is I needed to generate a whole lot of UTM links so that I can use my Google Analytics to track where the traffic source is for different links. So if you're not familiar with this, don't worry about it too much because the main purpose of this video is just to learn how to use Clipboard AI. Then all these different fields are used to generate the UTM link, which looks like this. It's a long URL. And then this link will be able to be used to track the source inside of Google Analytics. So for instance, if I go to this link, it'll take me to this page. Then if I come to Google Analytics, refresh the page, scroll down, you'll see here we have one live session user, which is the website that I'm currently on. And if I click on GTM DOM and then I scroll down, let's say I click, for example, on content, you'll see there is the content name, download your free ebook. So you can see it's reading in all these parameters through the URL in real time. So that's what this UTM link does. Now the problem came in where I needed to generate these links for hundreds of line items of data, as you can see here. And that's where Clipboard AI comes in. To get started, you can simply enter your email address over here. And I should also mention that it's completely free to use and you can only use it if you are using a Microsoft Windows PC. You cannot use this on Mac. I'll type in my email address and click download. Then it'll give you the link to download Clipboard AI. I'll click that and we can see it's downloaded the MSI file. I'll click on that to start the installation and I'll click run. So it's super simple to install. It's just like any other installation process. Click finish. There you go. So here's an example of how this works. It doesn't just work with Excel, it also works with scanned images, in this case, a receipt. So I'm gonna click the example document to select it. And then I'm gonna click copy window at the top here. And you can see it highlights it in green. And then I'm gonna select the destination document. And this is now a forms.office page. So this is a live web application. I'm gonna click that. And then I'm gonna click paste in form. And you'll see it gives us this little pop-up where we can map the data from the receipt in this case to the input fields in the web application. So you can see it's got the vendor name, the date, um, the vendor address, the phone number, the tax amount. So you can see this $2.21 comes from there, $2.21. The total is $33.78, $33.78. And then we can just click paste data. So this is just a human in the loop to verify that it's scraped it correctly especially when it's using optical character recognition or OCR like it's doing right now, there is a chance that it's going to make a mistake. So that's why it allows a human to verify or validate the information. Click paste data. And you can see how it populated all those fields within a click of the button. You didn't have to manually go and copy paste or type anything in. There you go. Congratulations. Data has been pasted into the form. Done. Just a note, if you do want to open this, you can just simply search your PC for Clipboard AI and it should come up and then you can open it. All right, so let's get into the exact use case that I need to do. So we have all these different fields and then we want to paste all these different fields into a UTM generator, which we have over here, this campaign URL builder. All right, this is a Google Analytics dev tool and we need to paste all those fields into here and then copy the generated URL and then paste it into its respective uh, line item in column H. So let me show you how quick and easy you can do this with Clipboard AI. 
hover over those three dots at the top of your pane when Clipboard AI is opened on your machine. And you can see here is where you can click copy cells, right? And you can see it's highlighting in green there on the right hand side of my screen, just that cell. That's because that's what's currently selected. So I have to manually go and select the cells I want. So I want from A1 all the way to column G and the last item in column G. So let me scroll all the way down, press shift and select that cell. So now I'm selecting um, all 699 cells, including, make sure you include the headers, all right? Because uh, if you have the headers, it's easier to map. The AI will be able to recognize the name and match it to the respective input field. So I'm then gonna hover over the three, the three dots again, click copy cells, analyzing, copied as Excel. Then I'm gonna come over here to this web application and I'm gonna hover over the three dots again, click paste in form. So now it's opened up the mapper and we can see that the website URL, which is this field over here, website URL, has been mapped to website URL column in Excel, which is this one over there. And the campaign ID, which is this field over here, has been mapped to campaign content ID. So you can see it's smart enough to know that campaign ID, even though it's not an exact match, it knows which column it's referring to. Right, I'll then click paste data. And now it's busy pasting. You can't see because the, I've already done the first line item and it's already populated. Uh, so it looks like nothing happened, but things were actually happening in the background. But you can see now that we're going to the next one, the second of 696 fields, I'm going to click paste data. And the only difference here is all these fields are the same, except the campaign term is number two. So you see currently it's number one, but the next one is going to be number two. So I'm going to click paste data and we will see how it's going to populate the fields. And then there you go, it changed one to two over there. All right, and now I can come scroll here and get my generated URL, copy that, go to Excel and paste Control V to paste in the second UTM link. I can then come back here. So let's say I fast forward to one that's a little bit more different so you can see what, how it changes. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna click paste data. And you can see how it's changing the fields automatically, it's typing in for you. There you go. And there is the generated URL and then I can paste that in. Now, in my specific use case, I always have to come to this desktop application and click this copy um, URL button after every transaction, go to Excel and paste it in. Now that is obviously very time consuming and it opens up the chance for human error. So Clipboard AI might not be the best solution for this and it may be better to fully automate this process using UiPath Studio, where you build out a workflow which does it all for you. The last thing I wanna show you with Clipboard AI is that you can clean your data using natural language. So you can see here in column A, I have just edited some of this data with a capital F, and over here I've just capitalized the entire word Futurize. Google Analytics is probably smart enough to know that a link with a capital F is the same as a lowercase f, but I don't wanna take the risk, so I'd rather clean the data. So I could either clean this data directly in Excel and make all the values in the cell lowercase. However, I'm gonna show you how to do that with Clipboard AI. So if I come here to our URL builder and I hover over these three dots and I click this drop down and I click paste with mapper, it's gonna open up our mapping tool. And if I click this little drop down here, you can see our website URL has a capital F over there. So if I click paste data, you're gonna see it's going to paste it with a capital F. You can see how it just typed it out with a capital F, and now it's just continuing to paste all the rest. But let's say I wanted to type this out with a lowercase f, all you need to do is tell Clipboard AI that you wanted to use a lowercase f. So I'm gonna click cancel over here. I'll just clear this field. Click this drop down. click paste with mapper. But this time I'm gonna come here to the website URL, I'm gonna click this double arrow to transform the value um, all through natural language. So I'm gonna click this double arrow and I'm just gonna say, make text lower case. Click enter. And you can see it's applied this rule to it just like that. I'm gonna click paste data. And now it's starting from the top again. And let's see if it works. And you can see it typed it with a lowercase f. So you can see it was able 
to make all that text lowercase. And then you can see the next one is also a lowercase f. If I click next to the third one, it's also all uh, lowercase. Remember the third one was capitalized for every letter of future eyes as I had over there. So that's a really cool feature that you can do in Clipboard AI. Now, I did promise I was gonna show you the fully automated solution. So I'm gonna click cancel. For this, you don't need Clipboard AI. Um, you would simply just use UiPath Studio. Currently, I only have two fields populated for the UTM links. All right, I'm gonna click close. I'll save this. So let's run this and see what happens. So what this bot's also going to do is it's going to clear these fields um, if it's empty in the Excel spreadsheet. So you can see how it's busy populating the values. It's now busy scraping this value over there and it just pasted it into the Excel spreadsheet and now it's already onto the second one. You can see it's number two and then it's gonna move on to the third one. There you go, it says number three. And if I open up Yavpart Studio and I go to the output panel, you'll see there is the generated UTM links. So it's done the first one, the second one, the third one. Now it's doing the fourth one, etc. So if I just leave this to run, it'll do all 700 URLs fully automated without the chance of me making a mistake with the copy pasting from the web application into the Excel spreadsheet. So there you have it. If I leave this to run, it will continue. I'm just gonna click stop just so I can show you what the Excel spreadsheet looks like. You'll see here are all of the URLs. So that is the two ways to automate this assignment, either the semi-automated way with Clipboard AI, where you copy and paste, or the fully automated way with UiPath Studio. If you wanna learn how to install UiPath Studio and build your first robot, you can click this video on the screen right now. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.